Welcome to Ascend. What's up, tribe? How y'all doing today? I hope the answer is good. And if not, I hope that after this, the answer is better. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to shuffle luffle these cards here. And then we're going to get a breakdown of what's going on with spirit, what's going on with the most high. And then we're going to see how that is playing out for DM. That's what we're going to do on today. So get your notepads, get your whatever you need to get. And I'm going to get prepared. One more shuffle here on these. Make sure the energy is what? Yeah, that's right. Through and true, baby. I'm going to go bottom up top, top on the bottom. Then I'm going to go do in the middle somewhere there, in the middle somewhere here, and in the middle somewhere. What's, what's uh, that one is? All right. It's cool little frozen beans. That'll stay there. And I do have a special direct message at the end of this video. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for being here. Ready to receive. I'm going to be sharing some of my personal experience as a divine masculine. See, but I think me having gone through the journey, I'm going to enlighten you as to what's going on. And then, you know what? I'm going to do one of these little bad boys here. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh. Okay. Hey, are you subscribed already? If not, please do so. And then hit that notification bell simultaneously. They're right next to each other so you know when these messages are happening. All right. I want to go middle. Oh. Oh. Well, that's going on top. All right. And then I'm going to do this one. And how about this one? And then we'll go a little bit further down here. And then let's do one soup for random one. Bang. Oh, wait, it's already. Oh, would you look at that? It's already down there. Okay. Well. It has spoken. Cool little frozen beans. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. There is a lot going on with DM, huh? DM is trying to grow through the seams. And I can attest to this because there is so much happening right now energetically. And so much that I personally have going on as far as growth is concerned and as far as increasing myself is concerned and I don't know if that's me living in response to the spirit or I don't know if that's collective and the majority of divine masculines are going through this but it seems like now I have some clarification that it's not only me but I have been feeling this type of energy this type of nose to the grindstone focus type of driven this this type of laser pinpoint accurate thinking type of just all around energy has been really driving me lately and this to see these two cards pop out right the way that they did it shows that the divine mask to me anyway it shows that the divine masculine is trying to at this point in time, create like a breakthrough or have a breakthrough so that we, I guess, right, being the collective, me and Divine Masculine, can get to the next level, right? Whatever that next level is. And we know that there is a next level. We just don't know what our next level is a lot of the times. And if that period of unknowing is an extensive period it starts to go it starts to deteriorate the motivation right so the, the faster they get a picture of what 
all of this is going to build, then we're going to get to the next level even quicker. So, so I'm going to put both of these bad boys up here because these are steps in the process. And before, and the reason I think that these came out like this is because before the Divine Masculines can get to work, there is a certain, there is a certain mindset. There is a certain paradigm that the Divine Masculine has to be in in order for this work here to be fruitful in the way that they're hoping it to be right because this kind of work here is fruitful when it's done for others and you first have to do it for self you can't show anybody change if you have not first changed yourself and as the divine masculine learns this they're going to be able to hone in more and become even more focused on what is the next chapter and what the next level is looking like for them. All right. So I want to jump over yonder to spirit and find out what the most high has going on. So let's see here. I want to make sure these are also in view. Let me stand up real quick. All right. I see that this one is okay. All right. All right. Okay, cool. Now let's see. <laughs> the end of a difficult situation embrace the change and expect things to get better now recovering from an addiction wow this is so multi-layered as it pertains to the divine masculine because up until their tower moment or including the tower moment and everything up until be in engulfing embodying the spirit of truth and living and acting in the spirit of truth everything before that is a difficult situation so this card is saying that because of what they've been through and well it should be because of what they've been through that at now at this point they're going to start to get this right mindset and start to work in a way that is representative of somebody that is as kingdom mindset focused right though in the correct paradigm so being in the correct paradigm and then working in that correct paradigm it's the very next step right get your mind right first and then start to work in a way that shows that the mind is right one one and two combo one two so this is the end of the difficult situation them getting to work and honing their skills and creating and increasing themselves is the next level this is the 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 end of the difficult situation because it was not having focus it was not having vision it was not having these things that made the divine masculine act in such a way that was uh what's the word i'm looking for comparative to an addict they were addicted they were addicted to the world they were addicted to to every kind of stimulant every kind of mind altering because they didn't like where they were and there are many forms of ways to change the brain chemistry to to get dopamine and and all these different chemicals to release there are many different ways to do that and until the spirit of truth is accepted and moved in the world keeps the divine masculine distracted by all of these fake fake satisfying things and again it's such a broad spectrum of things right you got people that go hiking or or bungee cord jumping and all of these are a, re a release of dopamine and i believe the other one is serotonin that makes people happy and feel alive the reason and again there's all different ways to do this i'm talking alcohol drugs sex it the gaining of money all of these things give an individual uh, a satiated momentarily 
temporary satiated feeling and that feeling is the type of feeling that this type of movement generates so the addiction is not to necessarily it's it could be bad avenues in which they try to get that feeling but what they're searching for itself is the light but the way that the world taught them to go about it is completely wrong and that's why the reset is necessary so that they could paradigm shift so that they can start to work in the correct way so the divine masculine is being prompted to embrace the change and expect things to get better now why why can they expect change and embrace the change and expect things to get better is because they're going to be changed they're going to move better so that they can expect better right they're going to recover with this type of paradigm mind shift they're going to recover from all of their previous life before they had come into the spirit of truth very powerful very very powerful first card also in the in this deck here this card is introduced as uh, the gentleman on his back with the 10 swords in his back, right? And it's it's dark and the, the character looks to be dead. So that overwhelming feeling, that that having too much burden, that that weary soul type of feeling that it's that is the divine masculine's life before they walk in the spirit of truth so very first thing we see that there that spirit wants to end that right most high wants to end that for the divine masculine so that they can become who they want to be and not only that but who the universe needs them to be and not only that but who the divine feminine needs them to be right so we see that it's being kicked off up top by the most high and then the response is is suggested for the divine masculine and it should be in this way so this is what if you're i don't recommend you being on the lookout right because i always say that your path it it requires all of you right all of your time attention focus your path right and your path even though it might be parallel to or it might be intertwined with the divine masculines it is still your individual path and whatever the divine masculine has going on is really irrelevant to you and your path because it's already intertwined it's already there it's already set in the future but if you are going with whatever second mind that distrusts what god has said and what the most high has promised you already in the fact that you have a divine masculine and you will be together if your second mind gets the best of you then and you're on the lookout this is what to look out for to see change in your divine masculine it is the correct mindset and then working in a way that shows that the mindset is correct and you'll be able to see that by the fruits of their labor you'll be able to see that by how they make people around them feel energetically this is it's going to be completely different to how they were acting before when they were an addict to the world now they're going to be with this correct mindset and the way they're going to be working an addict to the spirit of truth right so the person they are now is not bad or wrong it is what they are choosing to do Right. But when they choose to do better, that doesn't they that it, it, they that's all it takes a choice to do better. Right. So it's it's the actions that they're taking that makes them seem just bad, just bad. All right. So I'm going to start this side then I'm going to come here. Boom, boom. Zedrima. This is the. The fool, a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. This is all that's in store for the divine masculine coming up. This is what the most high has 
on deck, on the menu, in the tomorrow days for the Divine Masculine to bring them to a position of new beginnings so that they can again end difficult situations, right? When this situation comes to an end, the very next step, right? And again, it's it's 10, so it's a number of completion that shows that a whole a whole block of time, there was a whole chapter, right? And now we get to 10, number of completion. So that chapter has now come to a close. What happens in the next chapter? That's a new beginning. Indicated by the number zero, start over, refresh. And it takes a leap of faith. It takes a leap of faith because the divine masculine has been one way for so long and now being prompted by the spirit to come into a new version of themselves, which is going to include a mental paradigm shift and then followed by actions that show that they have grown and increased not only in themselves, but more importantly, in the spirit of truth which is what guides them to do the correct thing have compassion be gentle love be kind be courageous these are the type of traits that the spirit of truth makes people have and if they're and, and it's across the board it, it doesn't matter who it is if you're a person on this planet that's how it works the spirit of truth is trying to reset the divine masculine, so rebuild the divine masculine in their better version of themselves. And we see it here as the loving nudge that if these proper steps are taken and they live in response, the very first thing we'll see is that it, it almost a rewiring and reconstructing of the brain, right? The synapses are going to connect in a different way. They're going to rewire themselves to now filter through the spirit of truth rather than filtering through themselves right before it was a real quick process for themselves it was a straight down and that's why it was such a quick knee-jerk reaction for them to act in a way say things in such a way that was completely counter to who they had shown themselves to be or who they had decided to project themselves as while they were in your energy to make sure that who they were was enough to keep you interested Right. So. Start over for the divine masculine. When they start over, the mind is going to change. And as a result of the mind changing, though, the actions are going to be different. Their level of compassion is going to be different. Right. It, it's just it's just how it works when when the, the spirit of truth is embodied. I'm speaking from experience. All right, let's go side on the side. Hey, y'all. As soon as the new beginning starts, then we get a different perspective on the people in our lives. And for the divine masculine, that is first and foremost, the divine feminine that that thought is uh, surrounding. So now not only are do we have a reset for the divine masculine, right? But then we have a reset for the way that the divine masculine perceives the divine feminine. Wow. Holy cannoli. So this is proving the fact that their mind is now right because of the way that they've chosen to view the divine feminine as a result of being prompted. Whoa. And what started this whole thing is the divine masculine being in pain their soul being in pain and this is why hurt you heard the saying hurt people hurt people before this point they were in a difficult situation this is the end of that difficult situation before this point they were in a difficult situation and those knee-jerk reactions those those times where they completely kafafled you and baffled you and threw you for a loop and pulled the rug from under you and all of these things that was due to them being hurt. It was just a reflex, right? But at the same time, they should have had the wherewithal to see you, right? But 
not really but yes but at the same time it leads the question to was this person doing enough at that point to have them see that right and that's a question you're going to have to ask yourself if not do it if so continue to do it because that's your role anyway and this is also going to help them see you in that way if you're doing it for real right so again the reset is going to help them view the divine feminine in a different way and the viewing you in a different way the divine feminine is going to prove that their mindset has been changed which is proving that they are out of the the, the dark night of the soul right out of the difficult situation so because the most high is love and is caring and is light it wants the divine masculine that has been in pain for an extended period of time to have an opportunity to reset and start to enjoy life again but that only comes when the correct mindset and the correct actions are taken and the correct perceptions are are had in order to make life opulent let's move on whoa wow we wow we could hold on i gotta make sure that this is in view can you freaking see these identical holy cow a false sense of entrapment being overly focused on material things negative or fear-based thoughts this is the complete opposite of this card right here this is again showing me this one's got to go upside down because it's showing that the twin sides of the divine masculine are the reason why they were behind the eight ball they were at a downfall is because they were two versions of, of themselves conflicting huh this is the one that you hope for and this is the one that is in there but still mistreats you while this one takes a a, a sideline because this one wants its way and has has a mask over it right so it comes to cover up this person right and both of these person are in that one person so it's insane that it came out right next to it to again further solidify the fact that it takes a leap of faith right this whole negative or fear-based thoughts counteract that with a leap of faith this is what's being shown is doubling down on the new beginning and showing how to stay in it and not get trapped you see the word trapped on here too entrapment not to get ensnared by themselves right this is the second person that that you don't recognize when they mistreat you this is the this is what happened they're they're right here and again they look similar they're damn near the same person right the same energy but one is in the spirit of truth and one is in the spirit of fear one is with the adversary, one is with God, one is with the Most High, one is with the kingdom, one is with the world, one is with, with, with hell on earth, one is with doing whatever it wants to do, one is with doing things the right way, one is with doing whatever it wants to do. The right way leads here, right? When this comes up and it's shoved down by the Divine Masculine because the Divine Masculine is trying to maintain this this new beginning feeling right that gives them drive the middle card in this in the center focus is making sure that the ego is eradicated holy cannoli and again for it to come down to the exact same image are you kidding me just doubling down on the fact that the ego is who needs to be taken care of eradicated taken out of the frame out of the picture and again this is the divine masculine second self so if you're identifying with this this is your second self the ego the one that makes you doubt the one that goes against the leap of faith and expecting new things and expecting things to go well let me read this again follow your dreams unexpected opportunities leap of faith 
This is what the divine masculine has been missing out on. And it's because of the ego. So in the middle of it all, the spirit of truth requires the divine masculine to minimize and then eventually cancel the ego. This is going to help prepare them for more increase in the 3D. What did I say? What did I say? Help prepare them for more increase. What card comes out next? The page of wands to prep the, the page that shows preparedness. Come on. Come on, spirit of truth. Work up in here. Can you feel it? Can you feel the electricity? Bro, this stuff is what I'm talking about. This this is the realness, right? The ego has to go. This is the person, this is the part of them that is fearful of everything and it keeps everybody at a stiff arm distance. It keeps, again, ghosting, no communication. It's because the ego runs them and the ego is holding that dreamer part of them, that fool part of them back, that new beginning back. And that's why that was what a long, yeah, uh, elongates the period of of hurt before they come into the spirit of truth before that difficult situation if the ego is not depleted it becomes more of a difficult situation they just continue to become more of who you hope that they don't be the part of them that they don't give into the part of them that they normally don't want to be but have resorted to being in because of what the world and people in that has done to them. Their difficult situation ends when their ego ends. Their ego is at the center of their spiritual stagnance. This is why they're not growing. This is why they're not increasing. This is why their mind is not right. This is why they refuse to work. This is why they're not in communication. This is why their ego is in control. Most High is telling the Divine Masculine that now is the time to completely turn their lives around. Energetically, mentally, Physically, this is the time right now because this is a time of a closing chapter, ending the difficult situation, allowing for a new beginning, allowing for a paradigm shift, allowing for different actions to be taken, allowing for perceptions to be changed, preparing for all that the spirit of truth has for them in the way of making them their best, most maximized light worker self. Mm, mm, mm. I'm freaking in love with this right now. I'm in love with this reading right now. And this page of wands, this 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 one right here is about to show off all of the work that was done. Huh? You see that? This this one as a result of taking a leap of faith and moving forward, expecting great things and being on the lookout for unexpected opportunities. They have now rewired their mind to look for positive things and to do positive things. And when they do positive things, they are going to show through, not through arrogance, but through wisdom, right? Hey, here's, here's what I've been through, right? The same way I'm doing this on this reading. It might, it's definitely not going to be in the same way. I want you to 90% is going to be not tarot that they express themselves right but this is just them showing the spirit of truth that has changed them right this is this is them showcasing them them emitting radiance in their lives this is what this card represents as it falls in line here all right so if you're liking what you're reading, getting getting told so far, hit that like button. And after the video, go to MrLightwork.com 
and get you a one-on-one -on -one session all right over here we have the awakening are you you <sighs> wow that's all i can say wow and then and then this is 21 here so we got both one two two one leading into one another this this is literally bleeding in and this is how the spirit of truth works once the correct mindset is taken once they start to think about things in the correct accurate way not in the way that they're being led to think about it right not in the way that that people told them to think about it but in the way that they understand truly within the core of themselves with their values when this gets corrected with the spirit of truth not not against so whoever they look up to here on earth but with the spirit of truth that ends the difficult situation this starts their new path it helps them bury their ego which leads to more awakening because the ego is what blocks the two the ego is what blocks the two and it's interesting that the 15 if added together can be a six right which is the halfway point between zero and 12 which shows that there is a trap and the divine masculine is half developed if the ego is not eradicated but once the ego is taken care of then they can make their way to the awakening the ego is what prevents the awakening it's what prevents the new beginning right the new beginning starts and then the ego comes and then all of a sudden it's back to square one the ego has to be depleted in order for the the power line to the most high can be established the ego itself is what is separating the divine masculine from the most high from the spirit of truth the ego is the enemy the ego is the adversary look at this look at things from a different perspective and what i say earlier that they'll start to view the divine feminine in a different perspective because of their paradigm shift come on y'all like it like the video like it i love it look at things from a different perspective right a temporary standstill it's important to be yourself a temporary standstill i'm sorry i'm so i'm so sorry a temporary standstill you mean like this you mean like getting prepared for something <laughs> come on come on give it to me oh, 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 oh. it's important to be yourself the ego is not the divine masculine it's important to be themselves this is who they're supposed to be they have to prepare themselves to be who they're supposed to be through the correct perception the correct perspective right the reason that if you find yourself being not treated in the way that is optimal to you this person does not perceive you in the correct way so one or two things needs to happen one you turn up the way that you are doing things in your life so that they view you in the correct way or two you're doing things in the correct way already and they are just unfortunately at this point in time because of the ego blind and have the incorrect perspective of who you are that is not your fault that is the ego's fault blocking the connection between who they are and who they need to be to in order to view you correctly right so it's not your fault either you need to turn up what you're doing or you need to uh have more patience to allow the divine masculine to see and allow this connect this ego to be severed from the equation that is holding the divine masculine back from being their truest most high self okay move right along yeah whoa 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 
Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna get up so I can make sure that you see this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A temporary standstill. And then we get what? What? So we get, I'm sorry, I came away from the mic. We get a temporary standstill. And then we also get a Knight of Pentacles. Come on now. The Knight of Pentacles is on a black horse and stands still looking at the pentacle. The, how much more of a temporary standstill do you need? How It couldn't be more illustrated than what we're looking at right now. See? Now, now, now. This, to me... Are high these to me are high level hermit modes, right? They these are these are these are next level hermit modes because they are still not moving, which the hermit mode doesn't do, but they're all they're also not in gray, cloaked over, old and beaten and battered and in need of recovery. This right here is again a next level hermit mode which is made possible by the removal of the ego so that the connection can be made right and tight so that they can perceive you in the correct way so that they can have the opportunity to first get their mind right. That's first. That's first. This right here is made possible by them getting their mind right and this is a, 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 a cycle that they need to do. They need to hold on. They need to get things in the right way, and they need to work at it. Continue. As observe, per correct perspective, correct mindset, and get to work. This is the cycle right now. This is the cycle that they need to be on. Bro, this right here, this this 0612, oh, tuss, I love it. All right. All right, all right, all right. Now. You can book a one-on-one -on -one session after this at MrLightWork.com. Let's see now. Moving forward. King of Fire. This is representing who your divine masculine is going to be when they move in response. Once they When they close this chapter the way that it's supposed to be closed by eradicating the ego and embodying this new beginning, getting ready for this new beginning, this new chapter, with the connection to divine, the most high, so that they can get their correct perspective on, right? So that they can be prepared. Focus, focus, focus. This is who they're going to be. Somebody that's motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. Now, this means that the Divine Masculine is not only going to become a leader, but they are, they are going to have, what's the word I'm looking for, counsel, counsel with other leaders. They're not going to just be hermit mode they're going to expand they're going to collaborate with other leaders so that they can build a kingdom this is the move this is who the divine masculine is being primed being groomed and to be, and unfortunately, a lot of times because of the stubbornness of the divine masculine and because of the their reliance on the ego up until the point that they're at where they be, where they get converted to the spirit of truth. It's oh, a headache until they become converted. It's a headache for themselves for whoever they're involved with. And I just want it to be known that this is what the Most High has in store for the Divine Masculine. So, if the Divine Masculine is not emanating this, King of Wands energy, King of Fire, if they're not emanating the fact that they've got the correct paradigm and they're right moving in the correct way, if they don't perceive you in the correct way, then you know that they have chosen to go with their ego, the adversary, their enemy. 
the the one and the, again that was a choice how do we know that because this is what the most high desires for the divine masculine for their difficult situation of pain to end so that they stop hurting others because they are hurt they want the spirit of truth wants the difficult situation to end and for them to be king of their own little domain the king of their little domain so we see that because the most high wants this that if the divine masculine is not this it is because of a choice of the divine masculine and whether that choice be made intentionally or inadvertently it is still made and it is still now resurrecting the ego which is being called to be eradic eradicated so if the divine masculine does not eradicate the ego they cannot become the king of wands they cannot become the king of fire because again because the most because divine wants the divine masculine to be divine if the divine masculine does not act divine it is the masculine's ego that has corrupted them it is the masculine's ego that views you incorrectly it's the masculine's ego that makes them not pause and keeps them moving at a pace where they don't slow down to pay enough attention to how they perceive you how they treat you what they're doing or how they are thinking the ego is the divine masculine's inner enemy the ego of the divine masculine is your enemy the enemy of your enemy is your friend the divine masculine is your friend and your lover and your 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 everything right so do what yours did they're gonna do what the spirit has them right do what you're supposed to do and trust that your friend your lover your counterpart is equally if not stronger than you so that they can overcome what is in their path just like you can love without faith is nothing do you have faith in the process do you have faith in divine in god in the most high do you have faith in your divine masculine do you have faith love without faith is nothing so if you say you love the divine masculine but you don't believe in the divine masculine or in how it can be made then you have no faith the ego is the enemy here because the ego is inside your divine masculine does not make the divine masculine your enemy reset the thought patterns as it pertains to the divine masculine I see a lot of comments where the divine feminine is in anger in a space of probably depression sometimes or just an un unstable emotional space and the comment section sometimes it, it shows the hurt right and people speak in ways about the divine masculine that they really don't mean but their own ego is not in check so the fact that the ego is not in check proves that by this equation that the connection to divine is not as strong as it needs to be or even severed which starts to give way to fear fear-based thoughts negative or fear-based thoughts to come in and then for these negative or fear-based thoughts to fester and then for these festering thoughts to come out and erupt into uh, negative energy negative words to the towards the divine masculine or about the twin flame journey by doing that you are disqualifying yourself from the blessing so again correct your thinking 
the enemy of the enemy is your friend. The enemy of the divine masculine is the ego. Your own enemy is the ego that makes you have negative or fear-based thoughts about the divine masculine when indeed it's only the divine masculine's ego that is wrong. But once that is eradicated by work of the divine masculine and the divine masculine alone, then they can be taken to where the most high wants them, which is within themselves at their most high. So again, I started this by saying that if the divine masculine is not giving you king of wands, king of fire, king energy, because it's what the most high wants, it means that the divine masculine has chosen not to embody that and to instead go with the ego and continue their difficult situation of pain to which we know that hurt people hurt people so they will continue to cause pain to others if you find yourself in the group of others they hurt others you will be hurt by the divine masculine if they continue their difficult situation by not eradicating their ego and coming into their kingship okay i love you so much and i know you know this information intuitively and I'm still here to help you reinforce it and take action on what you know. Throughout this entire time and process, all of your energy, dedication and focus should be on your path. And your path is about your light work. It's not about anything the divine masculine has going on. All right. That is already taken care of for you. Right. As we see, the king of fire is what spirit wants for the divine masculine. And I know that that's what you want. You want a king, not somebody doused in ego. Right. And I know that because you I just did so many conversations and so many emails. Allow this to be taken care of. Take care of your own and the divine masculine would take care of their own negative or fear based thoughts do not serve the process. They do not serve you and they take your attention and energy away from your own path. Again, negative or fear based thoughts is ego. So thinking question, do you have your own ego in check? Moving right along here. Bam, two of cups. I know it's the five of cups, but reversed. They're not any longer looking backwards because of this new mindset. So they have turned to look at what is available to them still, which is the co the connection, right? The, the the electricity to the divine feminine, right? That trust, that 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 giving energy. Before the divine masculine was here all day long. Just not looking forward and like, oh, six and five right next to each other, because this this ego is what causes the divine masculine to be overly concerned with things that they can't change or can't do anymore. And that causes them to be in this black robe, like sad, got a gray cloud over them type of energy. This is who you were dealing with or maybe. If they do not move in response to this prompting of the difficult situation ending to eradicate their ego to become the king, they will continue this energy. But if they move in response to the prompting to end the difficult situation, eradicate and become king, they will do this. Right. Which is what prophetically is being spoken of right now, that the divine masculine is moving into this right again, because I. I'm I'm also speaking from personal experience about what I know this twin flame journey to be like and what they're going through because I remember these transitions. I remember being more focused and becoming more honed in on my light work and it shows in the quality of content that I'm putting out now and it just further solidifies for me that the spirit of truth is what is required for people to be 
taken to the next level as well as go to the next level, right? Because it they work in conjunction with the divine masculine and the spirit of truth. They have to be taken and they have to go to the next level, right? They walk together. A lot of times what happens is the divine masculine doesn't even consult the spirit of truth or know about the spirit of truth or anything or doesn't care about the spirit of truth and decides to walk on their own. That is the ego, right? But when they walk in conjunction with the spirit of truth, now we got a king. Now we got somebody that's not focusing on what spilled, but was focused on what is still here. On not things that we can't change, but things that we can start to use our alchemy on and start to move in different ways in order to bring about more. So it would be a better situation than what we had before. And again, it all starts it, it, this cannot be without the correct mindset right it cannot come to fruition they cannot change without the correct mindset and they cannot have the correct mindset if they are not spirit of truth centered if they are not divine centered if they are not most high centered if they are not god centered if they are not others centered their mind is not right because their mind is inundated with thoughts of themselves and how to put themselves first. And sometimes even putting themselves first means hurting the person that they love the most or will grow to love the most once they can see them in the correct way. This right here is is so important to be understood because the job of the divine feminine is to build and create while all of this is happening and if the divine feminine is not building and creating at maximum potential at optimal just all cylinders pumping in one forward direction on their own path the the reason is because the ego is still in play and the ego places negative or fear-based thoughts in the minds of the divine feminine which makes them lose faith which is we know without faith there is no love it makes them lose faith in the divine masculine which makes them lose love for the divine masculine which is why the comment section lights up the way it does sometimes because the negative or fear-based thoughts have taken over and they've taken over because all of the attention is not on the specific actions the correct mindset and the specific actions are not being applied in the way that would eradicate the space for negative or fear-based thoughts to even enter the scenario because it is filled with spirit of truth thoughts and spirit of truth actions. So there is no room for the ego. This is where the divine masculine is being brought to. This is where the divine feminine usually is. But if they find themselves in negative or fear-based thoughts that make you worry, anxious, depressed, stressed, it's because of the ego. It's because of the enemy. It's because of the adversary that is severing the ties to faith and trust in divine which puts it all together. And if you lack faith in divine, you lack love of divine and you lack this picture coming together. That can be sidestepped. You can juk all of that by doing away with the ego. What is the ego? Negative or fear based thoughts. This, I hope I hope I'm doing a good job. Am I doing a good job telling you that negative or fear-based thoughts sever the connection to divine? Am I am I doing a good enough job telling you that negative or fear-based thoughts 
make you think that you don't know which direction to go? Am I doing a good job conveying the message that negative or fear based thoughts make you think the worst? Am I doing a good enough job thinking that or telling you that negative or fear based thoughts keep you stuck, keep you worried, keep you sick, keep you not sleeping? Am I doing a good enough job telling you that the ego does not serve you? The ego is negative or fear based thoughts. Take this moment. I'm going to ask you a question. Write it down. What is ego and why does it not serve you? Eradicate the ego. Do yourself a favor because the your own ego incites the ego of the divine masculine because they can feel your lack of faith, your lack of trust, your lack of love. And again, when I say lack of love, that's as a result of your lack of faith. Love without faith is nothing. Faith is hope in things unseen, which right now happens to be a physical person that treats you this way divinely. Right now, this person operates in the ego. They operate in negative or fear-based thoughts. They are there because of their pain. Hurt people hurt people, so they hurt you. You're not the only one, but it feels like that. But everybody else around them is affected by who they are. And this is what keeps the the difficult situation going for them. It's a it's a cycle. And that's why it's so important for them to eradicate the ego so that they can get this direct connection here into the difficult situation straight into their kingship. They have to do it by getting rid of the ego because the ego, no matter how good all these cards are around them, will bring it all crashing down. No matter how much you you want all of this stuff to happen, it will come crashing down because of the ego. Mm. So turn up, turn up the intensity and belief and faith and trust. And if you do, if you can't have it in divine masculine because of the, the evidence that you see from divine masculine, no problem, because the evidence that you see that's making you not able to trust them is their ego. It's not even the divine part of themselves. So if you can't see it looking at them, I completely understand you. This is why it's so important for you to look up. Right from for divine this is where why on the lovers card the divine feminine is looking up to divine and the divine is looking on the divine masculine the divine masculine is looking at the divine feminine right but when the divine feminine is looking at the divine masculine the divine masculine averts their eyes fear negative negative and fear-based thoughts i'm not good enough i'm unworthy i'm going to mistreat them and then what do they do exactly what they are afraid of allow them allow them to eradicate this by simultaneously working on yours and keeping it at bay by not not focusing on keeping it at bay but focusing in the way of the spirit of truth right that the idea is to not run from fear but run towards the good right it's a completely different energy one is scared and one is optimistic. One is, ah, one is, yay. Run towards the light. Don't run from the darkness, right? I know it's the same thing, but listen to it again. It's the mindset, right? It's the, it's the energy surrounding it. Running from the darkness. That's a scare. That's a fear. That's, that's ego, right? Even though, even though. The fear is at something that is is real and is at something that can deteriorate people's light. The, the focus should not be on what is wrong, but what is what is right. That's why you run towards. It's like a goal. You run towards the light, not from the fear. Right. That makes you feel like impending doom is always upon you. That's not the case. 
That's not the case. That's not the case. That is your ego telling you that the other shoe was about to drop. But as we see from the divine masculine spread that what is in store for them, right? In this difficult situation, if this reading pertains to you and you're like, man, this reading ain't even about my divine masculine. No, I, I see myself in this reading. I get that a lot, right? Because we have different parts of ourselves too, right? We both embody divine feminine and masculine within us. But at times, there is... So what I'm saying is that the divine masculine is running with only masculine and they need some of their, their complete divineness which would include femininity to come in and help eradicate the ego the end of the difficult situation for you if this pertains to you is your negative or fear-based thoughts making you doubt anything it makes you have fear period it makes you think negatively period this is also the end of your difficult situation so you can stop seeing that the divine masculine is messing up all the time and turn to the hope and trust and faith that divine will bring them through, which they will. All right. Now, I know I said I had a message for you here at the end, and I will. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Let me see. Hit one of these. Oh, look at that. The Bruh, did you see what I just opened up to? Huh? The world. The world. Come on. Come on. And I you see earlier I talked about that one, two, two, one. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. Ooh, yeah, for me. Wait, which way are these going? All right, sorry, I fat fingered it. All right, I got a direct message for you from Spirit. Give me just one second here. What does the Most High want to tell you? I'm going to do this. Because I see people do this. And it looks cool. So I wanted to do it too. All right. Shuffle luffa. How'd y'all... How'd y'all like that meaty part of the reading? Was it good to the soul? All right. Now I'm going to do... One, two, that was at the bottom. I'm going to do three. And then I'm going to do this one. Oh, come on. Be a little bit more patient. You're all right. All right. What was your favorite part about the reading? And contrastly, did you have a part that you had questions, comments, concerns? Let me know. Give me some feedback. Gotta let y'all sort of direct this thing, you know what I'm saying? Alright, now give me the give me give me this one. Give me this one. All right, message from spirit, message from DM. Let's go. Ha ha, look at that. All right, so, wow. So the eight of air says an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. And then the very next card is 16. Right, double that, which is a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings, which is what the tower moment. So this right here flips for me, and then what as a result of going through this, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now, bruh. When I tell you that that God is working on the divine masculine, right? There, there. It's a, it's telling you straight up that you yourself have a lack of self-confidence and you're afraid to take action what action are you afraid to take 
Does this card resonate with you? Are you trapped in the space of thinking that a divine feminine has certain things to do as it pertains to the divine masculine? Are you in the illusion of being trapped that a divine feminine can't build on their own? A divine feminine can't um, do their light work until they have the divine masculine. Are you in that illusion? Are you in an illusion of being trapped? Do you think you can't do something because of something? The reason that you think that is because of negative or fear-based thoughts. Your ego, again, the enemy working against you, creating a lack of self-confidence, which makes you afraid to take action. Right. So this is telling me that some people, because they don't have their divine masculine or they don't see their divine masculine progressing, that they think that they don't have to do anything because their work involves the divine masculine. In reality, you have your work, your work, the divine masculine has their work and then y'all will have y'all's work. But there is always work to be done. Now, you should adjust your work depending on your situation, but your your working should never cease. Afraid to take action. If your work has ceased, the ego has gripped you in fear. And that's fear of you not being able to see how your world right now could end up being the world that divine promised you which is the fact that you'll have a divine mask and then y'all be together. You, the fact that you can't see it with your own eyes is trapping you and gripping you in fear-based negative thoughts. So your ego is flaring up and it is causing you to have a lack of self-confidence and you're afraid to take action because of it. You are not trapped. You are not trapped. You have the freedom, you have the authority to untrap yourself. You are not trapped. You, it is an illusion of being trapped. You're trapped because of the ego. Do away with the ego, right? Now, when you do that, boom. Now, when you do that, the very next thing that's going to trigger is a significant life event. Your own specific tower moment related to, don't be scared, related to getting rid of this this fabrication, right? This illusion. The tower moment is going to help that. It's just a moment where what has been built up in fear needs to be taken down with the assistance of divine, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. That alone, that could be this reading alone that lets you know that this is not the correct way to move. And you've known that again. I said earlier that there's not too much that I say that you don't know through your intuition, but you just need confirmation and reassurance sometimes. You know that it's an illusion. You know that something within you is telling you to get going. You know that you've had this yearning, this pulling forward, but yet you think that if you do that, that you will leave the divine masculine behind and then the union can never come because you left the divine masculine. But I'm telling you that this is part of it to have your revelation be that you have to move. You have to go. You have to go because if you're afraid to take action, you're not going. And if you're not going, you're you're staying in the ego. And if you're staying in the ego, you're not having this opportunity to spread your wings and create an exciting new opportunity and move into an exciting new opportunity for career advancement and the ability to change your life, the capability to change your life, right? And it it the for it to come out again and double down, right? This was the Divine Masculine's reading, but there's also uh, an energy of this fact that this relates to you because of Twin Flames mirror energy they go through it i go through it comparatively contrastly whatever the case may be but the fact that it came down here for the divine masculine and then a direct message to the divine feminine as the same thing right because this this right here this illusion of being trapped a lack of self-confidence afraid to take action is this part of the divine masculine 
that the ego takes over and covers the fact that they're afraid to take action and lack self-confidence. The ego comes in, but the ego is protecting the hurt, the lies, right? The fact that they are negative or fear-based thoughts, it's protecting that. <sighs> so then hurt people hurt people and they, they just... Okay, so the fact that it's doubling down was insane and showing that on both sides there is a need to address the the amount that the ego is still present in in today and the fact that it, if it is, it needs to be done away with so that the connection between divine and, and yourself and divine and the divine masculine can be reestablished. And again, the fact that this world came out right here after that draw, it's it's... Again, showing the fact that the awakening is and, and moving in the spirit of truth is how the divine masculine is going to be able to perceive you in the correct way and not a moment before. Before that, they are in ego. Once they do away with the ego, they can come into the awakening. Once they come into the awakening, then they can see you in the correct way. Until then, if they see you in any misconstrued way, you either have to one, turn up or two, allow them whatever they need to see you in the correct way, which is going to be nine times out of 10. I'm sorry, 10 times out of 10 patience. Matter of fact, I'll go, I'll retract to nine times out of 10 because that one time out of 10, it might not be who you think it is, but the divine masculine is still in the way. So I'll go back to nine times out of 10. But again, the fact that it's showing on both sides, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, DM, that it's not, it's so much more, right? It's so much more, and it all starts with the ability to think correctly, right? And if you feel like some of you are trapped by your Divine Masculine because your Divine Masculine is not making decisions or your Divine Masculine told you to wait for them or whatever the case may be, don't listen to the divine masculine, right? The divine masculine don't know where they're going. Take your lead from divine, right? It's not divine masculine feminine. No, it's divine masculine, divine feminine. Divine comes first in both scenarios. Consult divine. If you have a question, if you need to take your lead from somewhere, divine is your source. Divine is where you go to. Establish that connection. All right, direct message to the DF from the dm not to worry i'm quickly becoming who i need to be no need to worry all right you've done all that you can do i'm on my way quickly and i'm gonna be who you need me to be again now this is in response to this and it's interesting how it came out seven eight and this came out started seven eight right so them having the correct mindset is going to take them from fear of worried about stuff about you about themselves it's going to their correct mindset is going to be able to allow them to shake their fear about the past things that they've done about all of it, all of it, the fear period. Again, the ego needs to go. The ego needs to go. The ego need go. Ego need go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Write that. That's going to be the phrase for this video. The ego need go. Everybody write it, 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 write it. Okay. All right. So don't worry. The divine masculine is on the way and they're going to be who you need them to be. Right. And again, this is evidence by the spirit of truth moving in the spirit of truth and them showing you by actions that their mind is right that they have come into the awakening because they've done away with their ego so that they can enjoy life and the established connection between themselves and the spirit of truth is going to position them to perceive you correctly and live in a different way for them to change their life now you see it change their life now all right I'm humbled and honored to have been a part of this back and forth here that we have. I love you guys so much. Thank you for allowing me to speak. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. 
and I will see you guys next time. Oh yeah, visit MrsLightWork.com, get yourself a reading from the Spirit of Truth, and I love you so much. I'll see you next time.